Hello and welcome to another Tuts Plus tutorial. I'm Adi Purdila, and in today's video, you'll learn how to change the fonts in WordPress. And this is a great way to change the look and feel of your WordPress site. Uh, typography really makes a big difference. So I'm going to show you a couple different ways you can do with this. Let's begin. So right here, I have a demo WordPress site set up on my uh, local machine. Uh, it's currently using one of the default themes in WordPress, which is 2020. And let's say that you want to change the typeface or the typefaces that you're using. Well, before we begin, I just want to make a quick note about the difference between typefaces and fonts because, well, the title of this tutorial is how to change the fonts, but I think the more appropriate way to title it would be how to change the typefaces because fonts refer to the physical font files that you'll find in your system. The ones with the extensions .ttf, .otf, and so on. Typefaces are the actual font families that you see. For example, Helvetica, right? That's a typeface. Arial is a typeface. Arial.ttf, that is a font, right? So just um, be aware of this distinction moving forward. Now, as I was saying, how do you change the typeface on your WordPress site? Well, probably the method that most people will go for is to edit the style sheet or the main CSS file right away. And you can do that in uh, two different ways in WordPress. Uh, you can first go to your WordPress installation. You go under WP Content, Themes. You find the theme that you're currently using. In my case, it's 2020. And then you would get style.css. You would open that in a code editor and you would make your changes there. Then if you're working on a live site, you would have to re-upload that file to your server. If you're working locally like me, a simple save will do the trick. The second way you can get to this uh, style.css file, excuse me if you didn't see it right there. I think it was uh, slightly out of frame. So this is the file that I'm talking about. So the other way is to go into your WordPress backend theme editor. And here you can select from the right uh, sidebar style sheet or style.css. So you can open it here directly. So by doing this, you have access to the main style sheet or the main CSS file of your theme. Remember, this is directly tied to your theme. So any change that you make to this file will only be available in my case for the 2020 theme. If you're going to switch themes, the changes that you make here will not be applied again. Now, you must decide what elements or on what elements you want to change the typeface. Do you want to change it on the headings or maybe on the paragraphs or maybe on the buttons? Let's say you want to change the typeface on the headings. Well, you would go into your CSS file. You would search for the heading that you want to affect. For example, maybe it's an H1 or an H2 or whatever it is. And here we can find it on line 4016. But again, this is on my style.css. So you would go here and you would add your necessary CSS, right? Font family, I don't know, let's say Georgia. Hit update, and now any uh, H1 will be using the Georgia font. I think this is actually an H2, okay? So an H2 with a class of entry title. So we go back, we search H2, entry title and we find the exact selector here so we'll target font family georgia update file so then we'll do a refresh and there it is you've now successfully changed the typeface of this h2 
And when I actually did a forced refresh to clear the cache, the H1 also updated. And then you would go to your elements and you would change the typeface where you want. Now, this is not exactly um, a preferred approach because uh, by using CSS, you can actually target several elements at the same time. So depending on how the CSS is written, you might find some typography rules that uh, uh, set font families or sets the font family for multiple elements. For example, on this one, on the body, we have font family set to Apple system. If that's not there, use this one or this one or this or this. This is called a font stack. And these are basically fallbacks, right? So you can also go in here and you can change the font family to whatever you want. Now, this is one way of doing it. Another way is to use the customizer. So in the WordPress customizer, you will go to additional CSS and you can write your additional CSS here. For example, H2 with a class of, what was it, entry title, font family. Let's set this to Arial, for example, All right? So this is another way you're not modifying any of the original CSS code, instead you're adding your own by using the uh, WordPress customizer additional CSS. And then you can just hit publish and uh, that change will be reflected on your front end as well. As you can see, it's pretty simple to change the typefaces in uh, WordPress. And everything worked when I was making these, uh, these changes because all the fonts that I used were already installed on my system. But just because um, a font is installed on my system, it doesn't mean it's installed on your system or your visitors' systems, right? So uh, to make sure everything runs smoothly, you must load the fonts that you want to use first and then use them. So. Let me show you how you can do that in WordPress. Uh, let's uh, open up Google Fonts and let's open up, for example, tomorrow. We're going to click this plus sign. To use this font, Google gives you several different options. It gives you a standard way of using this link. It also gives you this import. Now, if you're going to use this, it's actually very simple. You just copy it from here. And let's open up the uh, CSS file again. And you can simply go in here at the top and you can paste that in, save it, and call it a day. This font will then be loaded in your CSS file. But this is actually the least recommended method because using import will actually stop your browser from being able to do parallel downloads. So it will only be um, able to download one style sheet file at a time. And that results in a slower page loading times. So if you can avoid it at all costs. Uh, you can also go into your header PHP, which is this, and you can copy this entire thing and you can paste it in the head portion of your document, right? Something like this. And that's going to work just fine. And that's also going to work. But again, we're using import, so you should stay away from that. Or you can go into Google Fonts standard and you can get this link. And you can paste that in here. Now, this is a better approach. It doesn't use import. It links to a CSS file, so it's very straightforward. This is a preferred approach compared to import. So whenever you want something really simple, when you just want to quickly load a font in WordPress, this is one of the ways you can do it. And then you would, of course, go into your style sheet and you would specify font family and the name of the font that you're using. In my case, it's tomorrow. 
and you're good to go. Now, what if you want to use some fonts that are not hosted on Google or on Adobe servers, right? What if you're, you just have a font that you downloaded from somewhere else? How do you load that into WordPress? Well, you do that by using font face. So let's uh, assume that uh, you go to uh, one of these websites that uh, you can use to download uh, free fonts like thefont.com. And you wanna download maybe, I don't know, let's take the first one that appears here, Feeling Sweet. So you would download this. Uh, there are two versions. I'm just gonna get this one. And then we're gonna go into our WordPress installation, WP content. I'm gonna create a new folder here. I'm gonna call it fonts, but you can name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna paste in that uh, TTF file. And then we will go back to our style sheet. And you know, you can put this whatever you want, but I'm gonna put it right at the bottom. I'm gonna say font face, and I'm gonna say, font family, how are we gonna call this? Well, the font is called Feeling Sweet. So I'm gonna say F Sweet. We also need to specify a source, so URL. And we're gonna say HTTP, localhost, but what I'm about to put here is applicable to my website. Your address here will, uh, will be different, obviously. So localhost. Um, this is called uh, WP local, WP content uh, fonts, and this is called feelinsuite.ttf. So I'm going to say that should be good. Let's uh, let's update this file, and finally let's uh, search for this element, which is H2 with a class of uh, entry title. So let's do that. And we're gonna set font family to F suite. With a fallback to a sans serif, for example. So let's update, load, and there it is. Now, this typeface is being used or is being applied to my H2 element right here. All right, and that's how you can uh, load fonts that are not hosted on Google, Adobe, and so on. It's by using font face. Now, if you're planning on using a font from Google or from somewhere else that gives you a direct link to the CSS like this, there is actually a recommended way to load that font in WordPress, and that's called enqueuing fonts. Here's what you do. Let's say that I wanna load this bit, right? This, uh, this font. I'm gonna copy the actual address. I'm gonna go back to my theme editor. I'm gonna open up functions.php, and you can put this code anywhere you want. Personally, I'm gonna go right at the bottom here. And I'm gonna say the following, add action, WP NQ scripts, load custom fonts. And then I'm gonna define a function called load custom fonts. Now, this can be named anything you like. Just make sure you're not uh, interfering with other function names in, the, uh, in WordPress. So load custom, function, uh, load custom fonts inside, I'm gonna say WP NQ style. We're gonna give this a name. I'm gonna say my custom fonts. And then I'm just gonna paste in that address. And that's it. You hit update file. You do a refresh here. And now the typeface tomorrow is available for use. For example, I can go into my style.css right at the bottom and I can change this for tomorrow. Let's update, refresh, and now this typeface is being used here. 
And if we're looking f at my, um, my typefaces that are installed on my system, you'll see that I do not have uh, tomorrow installed. And that's the recommended way to add fonts in WordPress is by enqueuing them. So now you know how to properly load fonts in WordPress. And what I described so far is not very complicated, but it does require a bit of coding knowledge to make it work, right? Well, what if you're not very tech savvy and you just want to quickly change the fonts in WordPress? Well, because this is WordPress we're talking about, there are, of course, some plugins that will help us do that. So let me show you one of the most popular plugins for this and uh, see how that works. The plugin in question is called Easy Google Fonts. So let's go ahead and install it. Search for Easy Google Fonts. It's this one here. Let's install it and let's activate it. So this works very, very simple. You go to Appearance Customize and this opens up the uh, WordPress Customizer and all of a sudden you have this new um, tab here called Typography. You open that up and you will find controls for changing the typeface on the paragraphs in each heading. All right, so let's open up uh, heading two because this is what we've been working with so far. We can see that we can change now the font family from here, All right? And we can see a couple of uh, uh, fonts listed here, but we also have access to Google fonts. So I can choose any of these and I can actually see a, uh, a preview in real time. Look at the, uh, the archives text here, right? And once I found uh, one that I like, I can simply hit publish and I can then see my changes reflected in the, uh, in the front end as well. And apart from changing the font family, you also have the option to change the font weight or style where is applicable because not all typefaces have different weights and styles. You can change the theme decoration, text transform, uh, and then you can also change the appearance like the font color and background color. So if I want maybe a blue font with, I don't know, a, a dark background, I can do that, no problem. I can also change the positioning with this plugin affected the margin, the padding, and so on. This really um, is beyond the point of this tutorial. What we're interested in is the typeface uh, properties here, like font family, and so on. So by using this, uh, this plugin, again, this is called Easy Google Fonts. It's a free plugin. You have access to pretty much all the elements in your page, and you can quickly change them there. And that's it, people. That's how you can change the fonts in WordPress by using a plugin, uh, which you just saw, or some good old-fashioned uh, coding. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Adi Pordila, and until next time, take care.